Hi there, this is Waves here. In this video, we are going to talk about variables and constants in Java. How do you store data? What type of data can you store? And what are constants? First question, what is a variable? It is any value that you will be storing somewhere in memory. It has a name and you will be assigning its value. You can change its value any number of times, which is why it is called a variable. Let's take a look at some types of data that we can store with variables. So we have byte, short, int, and long. Now all these four types can store numbers without decimal points. And notice there are sizes at the bottom. Now the next four types that we have would be boolean, char, float, and double. Now float and double can store numbers with decimal points. Char can store a single character such as A or space. Boolean can store only true or false. Unlike other programming languages where zero is false and any other number is true or one is true, Java does not have such exceptions. Boolean can only contain true and false. Now let's take an example of how to use these different types. Let's say you want to store the number 100. You can make a variable called myByte that is capable of storing 100. Notice that 100 is a number, it does not have any decimal points and it is less than 128 which is the maximum value that a byte can support. So we will take byte as the data type for this. Similarly, we can make short, int and long have different variables containing different numbers. So I have a number 125.124 being stored in a variable called my float. The type of this variable is a float data type to indicate that it can store numbers with decimal points. Now double is similar. Notice that I have written an F here at the end of my float. If you don't write this, you will get an error because Java thinks that 125.124 is a double unless you write an F at the end. And char as you notice here can store a single character and boolean condition variable can store either true or false. So this is the first time when we are actually creating a variable which is why we have written this complete sentence. Later we can just write my float and try to access the value which is stored inside the variable. I will be showing you an example of this in the next video. Now let's take a look at what are constants in Java. You have a name and a value. The only difference between a variable and a constant is simple. Once you assign the value, you cannot change it if you're making a constant. So how do you make one? Let's take a look at that. You will simply write this word final, which is called a keyword in Java. It tells the compiler that the value of pi cannot be changed from 3.1415 to any other number. So let's take a look at some of the things that you should Google after watching this video. Be sure to search for data types in Java, constants, and the Java final keyword or final variable. Thanks for watching. I will show you what these things do and how they work in the next video. In the meantime, have a nice day.